What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today we're once again ripping off Tom Scott playing Two of These People Will Be Lying. <laughs> and we just had to recover from our last session, which is going to be available for conductors only because uh, it just went down a rabbit hole. So if you'd like to support the channel and become an ES&D conductor, you can go see the hilarity that that turned into. But um, best not fit for public, you know, general audiences. So yeah, we'll mull over that. <laughs> so we send that to the penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. West takes his drop bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're past that. We're, we're past that. We're past that. No. Joining me today, man of the grand, Brett Weebold. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Core. Hold your it. Core. Focus on your core. <laughs> <laughs> we got some Super Mario sound effects out of it. <laughs> impressive. And somebody who devoted way too much time and money to the Colorado School of Mines. Leighton Moreland. Ouch. Even more than us so, two. Yep. Smart enough for one degree, dumb enough to go back for a second. You guys both had more time at that school than me, didn't you? Correct. Yeah. Oh, and I got, that makes yeah, me... I, wait, I, I, second I, I, smartest in the room, because we have Eric, who didn't go to the school of mines yet. Yet. Oh, choo choo. Uh, <laughs> but I have two plates of silver on my wall. Well, aren't you fancy? Very. Together, us three make three quarters of one idiot. And we're always in search of a fourth. And once again, today, we are joined by Eric Roche, operations intern, new kid on the block. You know, the look new at, one around. Look at the sparkle in his eyes, viewers. Look at him. <laughs> look at it. So look at it. Full of hope. <laughs> he hasn't we'll be been horribly broken yet. So, today we're playing Two of These People Are Lying, because two of these people will be lying about a railroad topic that is on one of these cards. They've each written down some railroad topic that they think I don't know much about, and last time, unfortunately, I knew exactly what Leighton was on about, and either he was really, really good in changing the name of something, or it was obviously his, and it was obviously his. Um, so that's why it became Conductors Only. But this time, we're going to be talking about Dublin Piggyback. The Dublin Piggyback, like it's Ireland. We're in Dublin, and we've got the a piggyback. Oil. We're going to piggyback. We're going to piggyback in Dublin. Dublin. Uh, and this is not referring to my time playing a very large bass drum in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, which probably looked like I was giving a piggyback ride, or the drum was giving me a piggyback ride. Or so all of the drunk Irishmen thought that was, uh, yeah, never carry a large drum through public around drunk people, and there's lots of them in Dublin. <laughs> It makes lots of unintended drum noises. It does, and you get really mad. I see. Yeah. So, um, I touch my drum kit. Uh, hopefully, I've given you enough time to stall the two of you that are lying. Oh. Eric. 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 The Dublin piggyback. So the Dublin piggyback was an 040 type steam locomotive, or what we would call an 040 type steam locomotive. It's not that in Dublin. That was re it was called it, the Dublin is piggyback. Is it an 040? An 040! An 040! An 040! Hey! Yeah, that was interesting. I did. <laughs> All right, Ian. All right, okay. Dublin, yes. An, an 040 in Dublin, save, save it in, for the rest. We just need a brief intro just on Just a topic. brief intro. Yeah. Um, Leighton, the Dublin piggyback. Dublin piggyback. So, um, the Guinness Brewery, they had a rail network that went through there, and they needed to switch in and out standard gauge cars, but they didn't want to pay to have a standard gauge engine to switch. So they had the itty bitty like 20 inch gauge, some, I don't know, random ass British bullshit. British at the time, British. but now no longer British, British. Like, unless you're in Northern Ireland, but that's a different political situation there. Anyway, it's not Dublin. It's, it's not Dublin. I, I can't do that accent. It's more, that's Cork. That's Cork. That's no, Cork, that's very South. Is Cork South? Cork, Cork is South. What's the capital in the North? <laughs> Belfast. <laughs> Belfast, thank you. Think Titanic and sadness. <laughs> yeah, like that. Pretty okay. much. Okay. Yeah, so they had like this special little cart that they could pick up one of their little steam engines, and they were like these little Hunslet bullshit things, and it would put it on there, and it was like a little treadmill, and they would use that to switch out cars. I've been, to, I've been to Dublin. I've been to Guinness. I've played a gig at Guinness. I got hammered at Guinness on St. Patrick's Day, thanks to my gluten-free friends and pour-your-own-pint tickets. Thanks, guys, wherever you may be. Um, I do recall seeing things that look vaguely like Pee Wee and a little weird gauge, narrow gauge railroad. Uh, uh, they didn't have history about it though, so. Brett, the Dublin piggyback. 
was an informal network during the Great Depression of whiskey smuggling that was sort of facilitated by the railroad. That's very railroad of it. So we've got an 040. An 040. An 040. Based out of Dublin. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was a smidge pirate and Scottish, whatever. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, anyone from Ireland. We're dumb Americans. We told you we were idiots at the beginning. No offense. We've got an all for all. We've got an all for all. An all for all from Dublin. We've got the Guinness Brewery switcher arrangement with a steam engine <clears throat> it, it, on wearing its mom's and dad's shoes uh, kind of thing. Yes. Toddler in the big shoes mm -hmm. uh, to switch cars. Did and we've got a, a whiskey. <laughs> A whiskey smuggling ring on the railroad. Let's hear about the whiskey smuggling ring on the railroad. So this was during the days of Prohibition. Okay. And it was this sort of informal arrangement whereby railway men would get crates of whiskey in Canada, either Canadian whiskey, which was cheap, or the imported Irish stuff, which was actually, you know, half decent. And they didn't take payment for it, so it wasn't technically a crime, but they would take these crates of whiskey and they would sort of stash them in gondolas, hopper cars, whatever you will, and they would write down the numbers or they would chalk it. <laughs> or they would chalk it on the side of the car identifying, you know, this is a car that's got some fun stuff in it. Train would run to the other end of its run, and then the whiskey would either be transloaded by another railroad, hence piggyback, or it would be offloaded and given to people that ran sort of naughty establishments that would then serve whiskey. Is that where you'd find the West Texas draw bar? <laughs> We can't talk about him, remember? We, can't we must talk never about speak of him. We can't talk about the West Texas drop bar. We must never speak of him. <laughs> the hooker cum bar in Salida. Yeah. Snack <laughs> 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 farm. It just Same. sounds nasty. Uh, okay. That's very believable, regardless of if it's the Dublin piggyback. Though I can I could see that. Eric, tell us about the all for all. All for all. All for all. So all for all. all. Well, it's an orange all for all or a green all for all. Yeah, it was probably actually orange. It was based out oh. of Dublin. Based out of Dublin. Based Protestant. Of... Whoa. Yikes. You said that was orange. Okay. It was based out of Dublin, and it's kind of like the Galloping Goose, how the goose got its name for waddling down the track. It was called the Dublin Piggyback because of the way the suspension was built. It would kind of bounce as a kid would on its parent's shoulders getting a piggyback ride. Oh, I remember the days of riding on me pa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I ride on his shoulders all the way. And we're leaving that there. Ride on his shoulders all the way to the pub. Layton. Dublin Piggyback. Uh, the Guinness Brewery, a uh, little steam engine, big shoes for standard gauge cars. Uh, what? Where were they taking the standard gauge cars that they couldn't just... Just interchanging. Just interchange. Yeah, okay. interchange any, Are there any more details? They'd have a little guy pick them up with a crane. Eventually it was a diesel. You, got, you can't call them that anymore. <laughs> little people? Oh. <laughs> and a little feller. It's a very strong midget. Okay, they had a steam engine smaller than this table, later a diesel engine smaller than this table, that they didn't want to have to like build another maintenance facility or some shit. So when they needed a switch, they would just like pick the dude, little fella up with a crane and put it on the big shoes and it would switch cars out to the interchange. And then when they were done, they would put it back and then it would go in its house. I'd be damned if we ever build a railroad to the standard f***ing English gauge. <laughs> this post brought to you by the 5 foot 3 gang. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been to Guinness. I've seen the little railroad. I've uh, seen the little engines that they have on display. Literally than these. Um, these could eat them. It, it doesn't... It, these could eat them. Okay. <laughs> you could fit the, the little gas mechanical that they had in 491's firebox with the grates in it, which is, yeah, saying something. Eat them. Small. It doesn't make logical sense to me that that is the arrangement that they would use. Though, I mean, it's an Irish brewery, so <clears throat> maybe what makes sense to me doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense I, to the lies. I tell you, I've got an idea. <laughs> oh, do say, do say. Well, why don't we get these little f***ing engines? And we use it to move the big old cars. Wouldn't that be funny? Well, that would just piss off the limey br- Oh, I, oh, I lost the It happened. It Yikes. happened again. Piss off the damn limeys. Piss off the damn limeys. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to rule Leighton out at this time. 
So it's between the oh for all, oh for all, which is again limited in detail, but that screwed me before. <laughs> Bull move. I know. And then the the whiskey. Oh, now that I've ruled Leighton out, Leighton seems the most plausible. <laughs> <laughs> but I've already ruled you out, so pound sand. Um, okay. And I don't think it's the whiskey ring because, uh, it, yes, okay, maybe they had Irish whiskey, but the piggyback feels like a stretch, as much of a good story as it is. Well, there, there was piggyback service, like trailer on flat car. Not in the 1920s! Actually, there were not like 1920s but like not like 1930s there's a picture i shit you not of like an l 97 or 95 one of the ugly ass looking articulated with a trailer on flat car hauling a passenger train in alamosa in the 30s that was after prohibition though as neat as that sounds send me the picture i'm kicking your ass for the episode okay so that means is it eric's me? overall is it the overall it's not the overall okay. is it leighton it was leighton it was always Leighton. You're you're managing to pick a lot of stuff that he actually knows oh, about. Yeah. He went to Guinness and saw the Little Railroad. I, I did. That's kind of why we, 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 But that seems so stupid. Why would they do? Oh. Well, that was, that was the to question fall. I was going to ask. It's like, why not just buy a standard gauge locomotive? Well, we've got the little ones. We'll just put them on the big ones. We've got these little fucking ones. We're, you know, we're not going to pay for another one. <laughs> Gee, we're not going to. We're not gonna pay for big trains. We'll just keep. We'll just make the big trains work on the narrow gauge trains. Mm. 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 Nah, it'd never work. Nope. Nah, no, no, nope. no, never. Uh, nope. Particularly not if you converted them. I mean, or we that's a them. subtle, not so subtle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, the sound so, for it. <laughs> so. Hey, Mark. What color is that boiler jacket? Um. Oh, pink. Green with the side of sad. Rainbow. They were green! Maybe not that one, but yes, some of them were green. <laughs> okay, anyways, point to Eric for fooling me. Yes. I don't get points. Leighton doesn't get points because you were too believable and I couldn't believe that I would have picked your card again. Leighton, we need another card. Leighton, we need another okay, card. Okay, I'm out Eric, of, I'm out of cards. <laughs> All right. You're adequately dirty in and up. Yeah. I'm, I'm not watching. I'm not watching. I'm not. Okay, round two. Round two. <laughs> one point, Eric. This is for all the biscuits. Eric, Eric is leading. Has one point. All the marbles. All we, three all of them. We, we've now the evened marbles. out between the rounds, other than the uh, unaired round, mm. that uh, everyone's got one point. So Stop. this is for all the marbles. We 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 we're we're betting. You're betting marbles. <laughs> I have marbles to bet. Hogger. What is? Hogger. This is all going to be three versions of the same thing. I can smell it from here. Leighton. What's hogger? Special term for a livestock train full of pigs. And here I was expecting someone to say the pig version of that classic 1990s arcade game. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery Citrus! <laughs> Mystery Citrus! Oh, it's just, uh, ah! <laughs> you have to hit him in the face so the camera can see it. Yeah. I didn't go to Mines for Athletics, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was on the bowling team. Anyways. We were bowling team. <laughs> <laughs> I got credit for it. I don't, I don't think really? I was actually on the team. But, yeah. Um, okay. Train full of pigs. <laughs> pigs is pigs. Uh, hog. Okay, fair. Pigs is pigs. Eric. What is hogger? Hogger is a term for a locomotive engineer. That was the one I was going for. It's Eric. Just kidding. Because they're fat as, because they're fat as pigs? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. I used to look like him. Comes for us all. Brett, what is hogger? It's a misconstrued term for a roundhouse foreman. <laughs> misconstrued term for a roundhouse foreman. <laughs> if being a former roundhouse foreman, Expand. Being a former roundhouse foreman, did you ever feel as though you were surrounded by some of the dumbest, most stupid animals in the world and they needed physical prodding to do anything <laughs> as someone who, you know, drives hogs might? <laughs> the lowest. Sorry, say, some of my former say, employees. And I say it's you misconstrued know? because this term did adapt to be used as a locomotive engineer. Ooh. Later. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay. I'm spitting words. <laughs> I can see that. I definitely lived my fair share of that with certain individuals. Not everyone was that bad. Most people We're are actually at pretty you. good. But you know who you are, some of you. Bob. Bob. <laughs> I don't even think I had a Bob at my shop. Keith. It wasn't a real shop. There was no Bob. Oh. Oh wow. There's your problem. Were, they, were there any Bills or Mikes or Dicks? There are a lot of Dicks. A lot of Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had some mics. I don't think we had a bill. Mike? Anyway. Mike? 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 Okay, so... Rebuttal, Mr. Locomotive Engineer term. Okay. Uh, the, the locomotives were often referred to as hogs, so the person operating them would be called a hogger. Can poke a lot of holes in that story. Actually, oh, reference to a mid two thousands Tim Allen movie about sad dads on motorcycles. <laughs> okay. Do Wild it. hogs. Do it. Nobody. Do it. Do it. Wait. Do it. Oh. I'm just ready. Felt, felt that's that's your warning. <laughs> that's your warning. <laughs> My warning line. Before, be forewarned. Yeah. One across the bow. You precisely. Prepare the broadside, lads. Okay, Leighton. Hogger. Train full of f***ing pigs. Train full of f***ing pigs. Specifically pigs. You know, pigs the North Pacific had a car <laughs> called a pig palace. Specifically designed for hogs. A pig palace? They call it a pig palace. Tri-level right. car. Overland made them. Factory painted. Sold them last year for $600. Leighton's rolled out because he just wanted to talk about a train car. <laughs> And he gets a lime. <laughs> Mystery citrus. <laughs> he, he can't throw the mystery citrus back. Okay. That's just sour. I like that. that, 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 that. <laughs> he's got a citrus. He's got a bird shot version of the lime. Is it grape shot? No. Surely not. No. <laughs> Get him again! Get him again! <laughs> <laughs> We're down to one lime. We only got one lime left. <laughs> Feel like a margarita. Hogger. <laughs> <clears throat> Hogger. Hogger. Right. Remember we're playing a game here, folks. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> not just throwing lines across the shop and making our bosses mad. Of course not. <laughs> no. Never. I have to say, the story's fun. And, he, and it feels like it appeals to me. Either it's true, uh, mm, or it's not. I think it's Eric. Eric! Mm. It is Eric! Woo! It's Eric! 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 So Eric! Eric gets a point, and Eric! I get a point, which means last game was a three-way tie, but this time, Eric wins! Eric! This is what happens when you eat your broccoli. <laughs> Show the kids how you eat your broccoli! <laughs> uh, Is this where we sign off? I think that's that. That's yep. the end of the video. That's the end of the video. Bye!